in the home. The crowds rise and Jake Smith, the rising star of British marathon running, has got the job done. There he is, just outside, 62 minutes, and Jake Smith, now he can relax. He wins the big half. So for this video, I'm just going to do a bit of a shoe review. Um, well, I'm going to go through all the Nike shoes I use. Um, some of the ones I will be using in the future and which ones I think benefit me more. Um, which shoes I use for, say, easy runs, long runs, sessions, how I find the dragonflies on the track. Um, even I can talk about how I found the dragonflies over cross country. So it's going to be just quite interesting even for me just to go through all the shoes I have been using and what I think I'll be racing in in the future. So the first shoe I'll talk about is the Nike Air Zoom Pegasus 38. Um, on the Nike website you can see um, they do all different colours and I got sent these from Nike and I absolutely love them to bits. They are very cushioned, They I use them for long runs and easy runs and even when I do some cross training um, and I really am a fan of them. They are comfortable to wear, you can almost, you could go for walks in them, like I said, I do cross training in them, even sometimes gym in them, and it's just everyday use. I've heard of some people actually do some sessions in the pegs, um, because like I said, they're a bit more stable at the back, so it just makes sure, reduces the likelihood of injury, and so forth. But these shoes are brilliant for easy runs, long runs, and I think those are the only two I normally use these shoes for. Alright, the second shoe I'll talk about is the Vaporfly. I absolutely love this. This is my go-to racing shoe. As I've mentioned before, I wouldn't change, I would always go to the Vaporfly for any race on the road, if that could be like a 5k, 10k, half marathon, marathon. Um, I feel they're very stable and actually some people say they almost break down or you can't do many miles in them, but I have found um, that I can do quite a lot of miles in them. So when we train with Team Fee and when I do my sessions back home, I'm constantly running in these shoes um, for sessions. I've even done some steadies in them. And I know a few people who actually use them for easy runs because of the 4% benefit you get back from them. Um, they just help you recover a bit better. For the Vape Fly, I actually ran in them when I ran 60-31 at the World Half. So... Yeah, I love them to bits and I think this is my favourite shoe. If I had to pick one shoe to wear for the rest of my life, it would be these two. Well, this one, sorry. Um, in different colours, with writing on, of course. This is the Vaporfly Next% Percent 2, which Nike have recently released. I wore them for, I think it was the London Big Half. And they are very comfortable. And again, they do have very good cushioning and support. Like at the Achilles area, as you can see, there's a bit of padding at the back which is great for a running shoe because you don't want to not have any padding at the back. Um, as I'm quite a four foot runner, so I run on my toes, they're very stable at the, at the very front and they almost push you forwards. That is the carbon plate in them. But at every time you go for a run in these shoes, you feel do feel slightly better the next day because you're getting that return of the energy. Um, a lot of people might say they're a bit of a cheating shoe and of course they do have a lot of benefit to them but at the end of the day they're reducing the likelihood of injury because they um with the four percent with the carbon rock carbon plate in them they just push you forwards they feel better on the feet and just a better cushion shoe so the fourth shoe i'll talk about is the alpha fly these are very sturdy and very big shoe as you can see from the front, they have such a big forefront and such a big heel. Um, again, they are very, very cushioned and I do really like them. I tend to use them sometimes for steadies. I even use them in the gym quite a bit. <laughs> they're very cushioned to the back. Again, there's a padding at the back and they're easy to put on and tie the shoelaces, which is quite a big thing because you don't want to be running around constantly tying your shoelaces. So they stick together very well. They're very good in the um, in the wind and rain as well. So when it's quite wet, they are. Even though they does, it doesn't look like they have much traction, they actually do. And I've never really had a problem with them in the rain. Uh, all right. So these, I absolutely love these to bits. Um, I've got sent them from Nike again in my kit drop. These are the Nike Zoom Fly Fours. 
So I have used the Zoom Fire threes previously, but I haven't used them for a while because I had like quite a few, like neck percents, four percent, and alpha flies to almost go through. But when I tried these, they are incredible, and I would recommend them to anyone. I use them for steady runs, um, a couple of sessions, temper runs, and long runs. Um, they're a bit better, they're a bit faster than the Pegasus, Nike Pegasus shoe. But, and they have a lot of cushioning in the back, they do have a fly knit in them. I think there is a carbon plate in them, but again, they're slightly heavier than the 4%. So if I did go into a race, race I wouldn't pick these over the Vaporfly. They are very, very cushioned. Again, great support at the back, easy to tie the shoelaces, and they just look really good as well, especially this pair. This pair, I absolutely adore. It is the Dragonfly. You might have seen, I drew on a couple of pairs for cross country, and I went to, I actually used the Dragonfly shoe for Liverpool Cross and Dublin Euro Cross. I do, I, I do absolutely love them. They are an amazing track shoe. They ha are actually very well supported compared to a lot of other spikes I've used before. You can take out the spikes quite easily, so that made cross country very easy to do. Unfortunately, with cross, they did get quite ruined because they are predominantly a track spike. Um, I've done all my best sessions on the track with this spike, and I'm looking forward. To, so I ran my 1500 PB in the Dragonflies, my 3K PB in the Dragonflies, and my 5K PB in the Dragonflies. So I'm looking forward to actually trying to run the 10K Olympic time in these shoes, and it will be my 10K shoe, especially now because I've run cross country, so I've run essentially 30 minutes in this shoe. A lot of people love these to bits, and I know other brands are trying to almost create a shoe as good as this for the track, but I haven't seen any other brand as good as this yet, and I don't think any other brand will make a shoe like this for the track. So just to recap, I use the Pegasus 38 mainly for my easier runs and easier long runs as I find them really comfortable and stable. I use the Vaporfly Next Sense for my longer sessions and my races due to the way the carbon fiber plate pushes me forward and also how they make my legs feel better the next day when compared with other racing flats I've used in the past. I've used the Alpha Flies for both sessions and races before and if I did move up to the marathon I think I'll use these for more of my sessions. I'm also using the Alpha Flies for gym and cross training and I have got quite a few funny looks especially when do it on the cross trainer. I use the Zoom Fly 4s for my steady progressions runs. They aren't as aggressive as, as the Vapor Fly yet still offer the same forward motion. And to finish, I use the Dragonflies for all of my track races and cross country races. For me, the Dragonfly is the best bike on the market and I find them so comfortable as well as giving me up on my toes. So, I hope you enjoyed this video of my shoe review. I am still quite interested to try some other shoes off the Nike website such as the Invincible. I do have a pair and I am going to try them. Also going to potentially try the Nike Miler. Uh, um, I've only walked in them and done a couple of gym sessions in them, but they do feel very comfortable and stable on my feet. And yeah, just keep following along on my journey for 2022. Hopefully this YouTube channel gets quite big and I can just bring you the best footage possible. Cheers and enjoy your training.